Hello friends, this is Timothy Kim O'Brien, your head instigator for Create Art Podcast, where I bring my over 30 years of experience in the arts and education world to help you tame your inner critic and create more than you consume. Well, folks, we have reached the end of Kickstart Creativity, uh, which is a uh, deck of cards that are that is done by Bonnie Smith Whitehouse. Links are in the show notes. Definitely get you a deck of these cards because my wife got me these cards back in the holiday season of 2022. And I thought to myself, wait a minute, why is she giving me these cards? You know, I have a lot of inspiration. I'm creating stuff all the time. And um, when I opened up the cards, there's three types of cards. Uh, there's the uh, perception uh, cards, inspiration cards, and the action cards. And finishing off with the action cards here today, uh, with the uh, topic of wander and using that in your creative experience and creative endeavors. So uh, for those of you watching me on YouTube, you know I love showing these cards. They're uh, you know, they're double-sided, <laughs> two sides to the card. Uh, front side, what I call the front side, uh, kind of looks like a 70s uh, design motif there. And then the uh, back side of the card, uh, goes into it a little further on what the topic is. And <clears throat> I was thinking to myself, how am I going to use, <clears throat> since there's 50 cards, how am I going to use these cards? And, uh, you know, how am I going to incorporate it? Because I had 2023 already planned out of what I was going to do. And I thought to myself, I'm going to do these once a week. So uh, I've been doing it since January of 2023. You can go through all the cards with me. Uh, on our previous episodes. And um, let's go ahead and get started on this one. So on the front of the card, where all the 70s motif is, um, you have what I had what I call the kernel of knowledge. And um, basically what that is, that's a sentence or two, uh, getting you started into the topic, getting you started to think about the topic. And um, for that, the kernel of wonder is this. Wandering has the potential to invigorate and inspire, to help us see our work in fresh or new ways. I like that a lot. You know, uh, it just want, you just the idea of wandering is, uh, I'm a Sagittarius, so naturally we love to wander all over the place. So when I got to this card, I was like, oh, I can't wait. I can't wait to do it. Uh, so... Another thing I like to do and that I've been doing uh, throughout this whole series is uh, to kind of break down that definition a little bit, because what I find is uh, a lot of people are intimidated by some of the terms that we throw around as artists. So, you know, giving you ideas on how to define it for your audience is what I like to do. And Cambridge Dictionary has been doing wonders for me to, uh, to actually go ahead and do this. Now, they uh, define it as to walk around slowly in a relaxed way or without any clear purpose or direction to start thinking about a different subject from the one you were originally discussing. I love that, too. You know, we're just hitting it out of the ballpark here. And that's what I consider to be wandering around. You know, you just, you're going around walking, driving, hopping in a train, hopping on a bus, whatever it is, hopping on an Uber and just going around. And it can be familiar places. It can be unfamiliar places. Back when I lived in Chicago, uh, I would wander around and walk into places all the time. And that's something that I really need to do here in Fredericksburg, Virginia, where I live currently, is just wandering around and uh, allowing that experience to inspire some sort of creativity. Because when we wander around our area, wherever you're, you're living at, you're going to find things to inspire you. You're going to find things that you can uh, create, um, you're going to meet interesting people uh, because I really believe that everybody out there has a story and uh, everyone out there has some sort of creativity that they're practicing, whether they know it or not. Uh, and again, I think everybody is an artist now. You know, I have friends of mine that go, well, you're not an artist unless you're getting paid for it. Okay, that's a professional artist. 
that's somebody that's making that their vocation. But you may not be, you know, uh, a professional artist. You may not, this may not be your full-time job. This may not be your side hustle. This may be just something that you do for you. That's why I always end every episode with go out there and create art for somebody you love yourself. So <clears throat> how do you get that inspiration? You go around and you open yourself to whatever you encounter. And sometimes you just wander in your brain. You know, you just go around and look at your workspace and you can be inspired by it. Um, if you, this is my workspace here. If you're viewing me on YouTube, this is where I do my work at. This is, this is it. Uh, and, you know, I look around uh, at the different artwork on the walls. I'll grab a book uh, I, for 2024. My goal is to read 25 books. I've already got four down. I'm working on number five and number six at the same time. You know, so I wander in my brain through that to pick up ideas. It might be, you know, a uh, thing that you can do for your practice where you can wander around just in your mind uh, or in your house where you're living at or your neighborhood. You know, it, it, there's trees in my yard that are just begging to be painted, you know, so I need to get to work on that. So definitely just take those, you know, few moments just to walk around and uh, to be inspired by whatever it is around you. You know, I, the, the wall that I'm facing right now, I've got artwork on there. Uh, I've got three uh, pictures that's a uh, podcast that uh, my wife and my kids did for me. Um, I've got another uh, picture, a couple of pictures over here where, you know, when my kids were young, it was a Father's Day gift. <clears throat> you know, we put their hands in paint and uh, it's, uh, it says, uh, I love you, daddy. You know, the, uh, the V is the feet and the uh, O in you is a handprint. That reminds me of when they were like, gosh, this was done in uh, 2016. So when they were about two, or they were just turning two, uh, that uh, my wife, my stepson, uh, you know, got the kids and uh, and went and did that. That's fantastic. Over here on this wall that you can't see, unfortunately, uh, is uh, some uh, drawings and uh, some, you know, just coloring in uh, things uh, that my kids did. And I look at that from time to time, you know, the, right here is where I do my day job as well. Um, and I just look up and look at that and go, okay, cool. I, I, I've got, you know, something to look at and something to be inspired by. So with me wandering, all I got to do is <laughs> spin in my chair. I've got a record collection right behind me so I can, you know, throw on some music and wander in my mind that way and be inspired by it. So when people tell me, yeah, I, you know, I don't know what to do. I don't have any ideas. I don't have any inspiration. Wander, wander around and then just open yourself up to it and pick it up. And I think you will find something. Uh, if you live in, you know, a very sterile environment, you know, all white walls and, you know, white cabinets and all that kind of good stuff. Okay, maybe. But then look at the cabinets. You know, are they true white? Are they bone white? Are they off white? Are they creamy white? What kind of white are they? So no, you don't have an excuse. You can go around and be inspired by whatever it is out there. All right. So on the back of the card, let's go with that. And uh, there's a couple sentences that further go into the idea of wander. Uh, sometimes wandering is the best action to take. So get up and walk away. Hmm. Sounds like somebody already said that to you. Uh, abandon your chair, desk, or studio. As you wander, discover some new person, place, or ideas. Pound the pavement, find a new rhythm, and move with it. Come on right there. You know, it's not just me saying it. It's Bonnie Smith Whitehouse saying it. I think any good uh, educator would tell you to do the same thing, just to walk around, be open and, um, you know, get that inspiration that you need from everything that's around us. Nature is a wonderful thing. People are wonderful, uh, you know, things that can be turned into a, you know, into artwork. You could just go to the mall and sit and listen to the conversations that are happening. 
you know, and now if your mall is, you know, uh, dying, <laughs> there's inspiration right there. You know, you can uh, do a piece on the uh, commentary of, um, you know, the uh, decline of uh, the American dream or whatnot. Uh, another thing that I do, and I just started this practice, is before I do the episode on uh, Sunday, I'll watch uh, a show called uh, Check, Please. It's out of Chicago, and it's where three people, you know, uh, tell about their favorite restaurants, and the other two go and check out the restaurant. I love that show. When I was living in Chicago, I would watch that show. I think it was on Friday or Saturday nights, and then that next week, I would go to those restaurants because I was trying to find something cool, something unique. Uh, and, and go off of their recommendations, even the ones that, you know, the other people didn't like, I'd give it a shot and see about it. Maybe there's something like that in, in your neighborhood. Uh, maybe there is a check please kind of thing uh, in your local newspaper or newsletter or something like that, that you follow. Go try it, go check it out. Even, you know, going to a new restaurant, there's a lot of inspiration there. And then maybe you pick something fro up from that restaurant and go with that intention of, I'm going to find something. I'm going to wander around until I find something. Great idea. Let's get into the challenges here. Uh, first challenge is, uh, as an experiment, abandon the table or, or boardroom for a walking meeting to see what happens. Now, I work remotely. So that's a little bit difficult for me, but I would love to try this at work. Just go on a walking meeting. Now, my you know main office is in uh, Washington, D.C., and most of my people are spread around. Well, all of my people are spread around the country. I've got somebody in Buffalo. I've got somebody in uh, Minnesota. Um, so it's kind of difficult for us to do that. But wouldn't it be great to have a walking meeting, just to have that meeting, go outside, walk around the neighborhood of where you work at, if that's a possibility and um, you know, have the meeting there instead of everyone sitting around a table and, you know, yay, another meeting, give that a shot for yourself. Suggest that for yourself, uh, for the, for your day job, for what you do. The next challenge is wander into a public space, a store, library, post office, or even a courthouse. Be open to the creatures, characters, curiosities, and marvels you may encounter just beyond the next threshold. Well, I've already said to do that, you know, <clears throat> pick a place, any place, you know, a, a courthouse. I didn't even think about that. Yeah, go into a courthouse. Um, I've been to a, a few of them. I've done jury duty. Um, I've had to go and testify yeah, in a courthouse. There are a lot of characters in a courthouse. Oh, my God. Because, at you know, when people are in a courthouse, they're usually not in the best of situations. You know, they might be facing some jail time. They might be facing some serious fines. Um, so, you know, they may be facing a divorce or family custody. Um, so do that for yourself. See if, uh, see if you can get anything off of that. I'd like to know. The last challenge is go for a walk outside and photograph or list the natural phenomenon you come across. Become inspired by that dandelion stubbornly making space to thrive in the sidewalk crack. Well, right now, uh, I'm recording this here in February of 2024, and I have daffodils that come out in uh, in the very early spring. And uh, right now, they're starting to come out. You know, the, the uh, leaves are starting to sprout. Um, and, and that would be something to uh, talk about. You know, um, that would be something to write about or do a painting of uh, or do a photograph of or a sketch or maybe a dance of daffodils coming out of the ground in early spring. There, there's a ton of things you can do with that. So I'm just saying that's in my front yard. Look in your front yard. You know, if it's, you know, winter turning into spring which you know, at the time of this recording, you know, a lot of areas are getting, you know, done with their winter at the end of the month and spring will be popping up soon. There you go right there. It, it's a common trope. Uh, it's been done before, but has it been done through your eyes? I don't think so. So give it a shot. Now, a couple of uh, points to consider. Uh, when we wander around, it unlocks creativity uh, through wandering. Okay. 
you can have creative breakthroughs when, and, and I'm not even talking about standing up and going outside your house. You can have a creative breakthrough by wandering through your record collection or wandering through your uh, MP3 collection or what, you know, whatever you listen to music on. Maybe it's cassette tape, reel to reel, or maybe you're just noodling around on your bass guitar or your keyboard or whatnot. But allow yourself to just wander. You don't have to create anything right then and there, but just wander, note it in whatever shape that you note things. Maybe it's you sketch it down and you take a photograph of it, or you just turn on a, a, a microphone and a digital recorder and you just record the sounds that you're going to use for something. Uh, there's been, uh, ever since I moved here uh, in Fredericksburg, uh, I-95 runs right through Fredericksburg. And I've wanted to uh, write a collection of poems uh, inspired by uh, you're standing on a bridge and watching the traffic go by, you know, uh, so, you know, I, I call it thoughts uh, over 95. And, um, you know, you could do that. You know, there's nothing stopping me from parking my car, you know, down a little ways and uh, grabbing a digital recorder and just recording myself as I'm looking at the traffic. I, I might go ahead and do that one of these nights. You know, instead of going to a poetry night, you know, go do that. Um, again, I love going to poetry night. Uh, it's Friday night here in Fredericksburg at Katora Coffee Shop. And I love people watching and people listening and just seeing the different characters, seeing the different people that go up on stage and making note of it. So that could be something that you do in your area. Another point to consider the power of aimless walks for artists. Just go for a walk. Just go for a walk. Just get up. If you're listening, uh, you know, on your podcast app of choice, take me for a walk. You can tell me, you know, what you're seeing on your walk as you're listening to this podcast. Nobody's going to know. Yeah, I'm not going to tell anybody. Um, so yeah, just go for that aimless walk. It, you, you don't ha you don't even have to have a purpose for it. And I think it's best when I have in it, the intent of I'm going to be inspired by something, um, you know, because that puts me in the mindset. But you can just go for a walk and see what happens. Sometimes the greatest things happen by accident. So give that a shot for yourself. Uh, wandering. And the last point to consider is wandering mind creative finds. Let your mind wander. It's okay. It's okay to daydream. It's okay to, you know, go from here to there. It, it, it's not an issue. Okay. Let that mind wander. Let it exercise itself. You know, just kind of put your mind in exercise mode. We're going to go for a walk. We're going to just let whatever happens, happens. And if I can get something out of it, fantastic. It's the easiest way to get inspiration that I know of. So give that a shot for yourself. Okay, well, we've come to that time where it's time for you to get on with your day. I know I need to get on with my day, but just wanted to uh, let you know of a few things. First and foremost, you can reach out to me and tell me how your wandering went. You can go to Timothy at createartpodcast.com. And there you can email me and, uh, you know, tell me what you're doing in your neck of the woods. Uh, you can give me a critique that way too. You know, you don't like the music. You think it's too long. You're, you know, I'm talking way too much. Whatever it is, go ahead and feel free to reach out to me. I do answer emails, uh, unless it's a spam email, and then I'm just going to be like, no, don't, just stop that. Uh, but go ahead and email me. Uh, I would really love to know what's going on in your neck of the woods. I also run a newsletter. It's called the Create Art Podcast Newsletter, and it comes out once a month. In that newsletter, I uh, link back up to the episodes that I've done, uh, and I also give you a couple ideas of uh, projects that you could do for that month. Like I said, it only comes out once a month, and uh, you can sign up for it. If you go to Timothy Bryan, and Bryan is spelled B-R-I-E-N dot substack dot com, uh, links are also in the show notes for that. If you go to my website, createartpodcast.com, and, and listening to me from there, in the show notes, you have the subscribe button right there. Throw in your email and knock it out. And uh, if you're getting it and you're like, eh, I don't need to block up my email, you can always uh, unsubscribe there as well. 
Now, I do run two other uh, podcasts. Uh, the first one is Find a Podcast About, and you can find that at findapodcastabout.xyz. And that's where I help you outsmart the algorithm and find your next binge-worthy podcast. And I even talk to the podcasters themselves. So uh, give that a shot for yourself. If you're looking for some new podcasts to listen to, uh, these are ones that I binge. These are ones that I listen to all the time. So give it a shot for yourself. And hey, maybe you need uh, a recommendation. There you go, right there. The other podcast that I run is called Cannabis Stories. And you can find that at cannabisstories.podbean.com. And that's where I tell stories of folks that are using the Lord's lettuce responsibly. And, uh, you know, a lot of times they are really funny and uh, they're very lighthearted. So give that out, you know, give that a you know, check that out for yourself if you're into that kind of stuff. Uh, it's a lot of fun. Uh, it, it's what I call my fun podcast. Not that this podcast or find a podcast about isn't fun, but it's just more of a, you know, let's be stupid and, 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 and do something. Okay. So again, you can find that at uh, cannabisstories.podbean.com. It's called Cannabis Stories. All right. Well, we've come to the end of Kickstart Creativity. Uh, going to take a couple of weeks off, but between those weeks off, I'm going to have a couple of interviews for you to listen to. So um, I'll be starting up a new series uh, towards the end of February. Eh, probably mid end of February. I'm already working on it right now. And I can't wait uh, to share those with you. So stay tuned for that. So go ahead, tame that inner critic, create more than you consume. Turn off the podcast, go out there, walk around, wander around, get inspired, and then go create some art for somebody you love yourself. I'll talk to you next time.